All right, hello, we are still in El Nido. If you've been following along, our last video was our Tour A island hopping tour. If you missed that one, check it out here. So yeah, we spent the last few days in El Nido town, but now we've had the opportunity to come up to Leo Beach, right near the airport, which is very convenient. And so we're coming to you from Seda Leo Resort. We just got here, we're gonna be here for two days. We haven't even checked out the pools yet or the beach or any of that, but real quick, we wanted to give you a room tour. Wait a second. Ah, that's better. Let's go check out the room. By the way, Hayes will be in this video, I promise, but we, within 10 minutes of being here, discovered that they have a kid's room and that you don't have to be present at it with your kids, so that's cool. Okay, starting with the bed. This bed looks super comfortable, is it? Yeah. Right. One thing uh, I love that I don't know that we've ever had is I love when the bed's like in the middle of the room, there's a desk behind it, I can do some editing. I don't know, it just feels like extra luxurious having the bed floating in the middle of the room. Bathroom is great. Hayes has not had a bath tub in a long time. A long time. So he'll be very happy. And here. And then wait, wait, oh. oh good toilets. This is interesting. Door on it. Um, how's the phone? Who are you gonna call? Well, you just need that phone. Ghostbusters. Some scales. I won't be using those. Plenty of storage here. Very nice little coffee station. Always appreciated. Uh, look at yeah. Well, we've seen the bed. Just tested that out. This is probably where Hayes is gonna sleep. Um, what we tend to do is just like turn that around. So and just like make a really nice comfy bed out of it. He loves it. Uh, got TV here. Oh, I did want to point out over here about the telephone. Look at this, it has all these wires for like all different technology stuff. Isn't that great? I love that. Uh, and then, okay, let's open this up. The best part, voila! We've got a lovely, oh, how do I open this? Oh, look at that. Okay, got this great little private patio area. And then looking out over to the pool, and I also see the ocean, which looks amazing. The camera is super ready. That's it. So that's it, that's the room tour. Stay tuned for whatever's happening next. I don't know, maybe we'll go pick up our child. Okay, we pulled Hayes away from the, what's it, kids room? Uh, did not want to leave, but we're gonna go swimming with a view of the ocean. Just grab some lunch. Uh, <laughs> I, we had, I was okay, thank you. Yeah, the, uh, they needed a team of five. There's five people there that just started parading this over. We have an annex table. This is Hayes when he wakes up. Uh, I didn't, yeah, that was quite the projection. Yeah, I didn't I didn't ask for any of this, but Hats off to the amazing staff here, and yeah, also it looks a, like they threw in a bottle of wine as well. Pinotage. I mean, I, d I definitely didn't order that. <laughs> anyway, look at this. I ordered something called Seafood Bicol Express from the Filipino section. It looks actually incredible. I, I mean, I will have you know that we're, I'm like literally sitting here like in my pajamas because I was wet from the swimming pool. Hayes is napping. And now we're just gonna have a delicious lunch outside of our room while looking at the ocean and the pool. I guess the pinotage is to uh, pair with my lamb chops. <laughs> oh, the red wine at lunch made me tired. Also, as an update, whoa, the guy that was gonna take us to the wetlands, I guess, isn't available. So we're not at the wetlands right now, but we might go later. We're currently back at the kids' room. 
and I'm just <laughs> relaxing. Back by popular demand. Pete going down a slide in the kids' playroom. Subscribe. Now uh, we have reservations for dinner at a place called Punta Playa, which apparently is just like a five to eight minute walk along the beach. This is a really nice way to spend our last two days in El Nido, not gonna lie. in action with his signature shot of the trees from below. Will it be beautiful? Let's find out. You never know until you get to the edit, hey? And last time I did a shot like this, you loved it and you used it, so I'm, I'm carrying on. Full day here and they offer tours but the one that's going is the tour a which we did you can watch that here um, we could do tour C but honestly it's like a really long day with haste from like 8 30 a.m. till almost 5 and then coming back up here so I think we're just gonna stay and enjoy this beach and the resort they've got like paddle boards and those like little pedal boats and stuff that I think we can use and kayaks canoes all the boats that's the plan for tomorrow but look how beautiful this beach is. This is Leo Beach, right next to the airport. If I lived in Manila, I would fly up here. Well, I wouldn't be able to afford flying up here or staying here. But in a dream world, I would fly up here every weekend. This is a really nice time. The sunset. I mean, there's a bunch of folks swimming out there. We've got a little boat coming in. It's beautiful. What I really want to see, and I hope we're able to capture it tomorrow, is one of the airplanes because I think we're really close to the airport here and when we flew in here it was stunning so it'd be really cool to like catch a plane coming into land. Oh yeah! Oh my gosh! Ah! I'm actually so excited! For all you aviation geeks out there. Yeah, we've always wanted to like go to St. Martin or one of those places where you like see them fly over your head. I think there's some places in Thailand. So we looked up the flight list and we might have to plan our beach day around that. You're doing great. You're doing great. We think the restaurant's over there, but there's all this like water and I'm wearing my, I only travel with two pairs of shoes, my waterproof Birkenstocks and then my like nicer sandals, but I don't want to get wet. So can Pete get both Hayes and I across this river? Let's find out. Are you doing one at a time? You coming back for me? Okay, you ready? What was, oh God, oh yeah, all right. You ready? Okay, you ready? Hey, Zam, I doing? All right, we did it. Hey! We're having too much fun. <laughs> that is where we're headed for dinner. We had um, tuna carpaccio and octopus salad, Spanish style chorizo and gambas. The tuna carpaccio was so good that we ordered that one again. And now Pete's having a look at the dessert menu and I suspect... Hey, excuse me. Pete's having a look at the dessert menu. What will we be having for dessert? What will we be having for dessert? All right, well... The Spanish style creme brulee? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah predictable. There's, there's a crema catal catalana. Catalana? Catalana. Uh, it's a Spanish style creme brulee. Uh, yes, please. How's your ice cream, Hayes? Oh, oh. Yeah, go for it. There you go. Bye bye. <laughs> Good morning. Pete and Hayes are already at breakfast. I'm just catching up. If you've been following us a while, you know that we live exclusively in Airbnbs for 10 months. We love Airbnbs. We're still staying 
in Airbnb majority of the time, but it has been fun to sprinkle in some hotels every now and then when we have the opportunity or we can. Oh my God, sorry, it keeps fogging up. Um, particularly for Hayes, I have swimming pools and kids rooms and this and that. The thing I love most about hotels is a hotel breakfast, particularly in Asia where they eat savory things for breakfast. We were here yesterday and can I just say, Filipino garlic rice, like why don't all countries that eat rice do garlic rice? It is incredible. So I'm gonna go have some garlic rice and beef tapa, which has been my favorite Filipino breakfast and probably a bunch of other random things. But anyway, yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How's it going in here? It's great. Oh. We got champion breakfast from here. He's on his uh, second glass of milk. Woo! Nearly went all over the place. Good save, basically. Daddy's on the top of Daddy has to report. Well, Pete has to report. I lost a button on my shirt. No! I got these shirts made in Hoi An, and I love them. But, it's a real bummer. Away, this is really boring. Daddy lost a button. We're heading to the wetlands. We're with Eddie, Hi. lifeguard, and tour guide. Oh, we are we like a minute from the hotel. We're just like six feet onto this boardwalk, and Pete's already almost fallen in. Adventures with Steph and Pete. Never that adventurous. So I knew from the pictures that they had this like boardwalky thing. I didn't realize we were gonna go on a little canoe ride in it. It's, I mean, it's really cool. This is like right there. There's so much natural beauty in the Philippines, like wherever you are. It's really overwhelming, particularly for two people that don't always seek out nature-based activities. <laughs> this is right up our alley. You just walk outside your beautiful hotel and get in a canoe and have a nice time and then go back to your beautiful hotel. Now we're going into like an area that like barely fits the canoe and I think we're gonna hold a rope to get through. Oh, this is cool. He just found it, just like yeah, floating there. See? <gasps> yeah, oh, it's alive. Every time we do these kind of things, which isn't often, but in the Philippines has been, I'm just reminded of how little I know about anything scientific or to do with the natural world. I didn't know snails just like floated at the top of the water. I don't think I even knew mangroves meant fresh and salt water together. Did you know that? Uh, maybe if like we thought about it? Yeah, maybe if we listen to our story in Vietnam. If, uh, mm -hmm. Thailand. Thailand and maybe Thailand, but yeah. it's uh, We have to do, this is why we have to travel the world and repeat different experiences to finally learn. But what's so great about this is that we just walked out of the hotel. <laughs> I know, I feel like, I don't mean to beat a dead horse, but you're watching us like stay in resorts kind of for the first time in our lives. We haven't typically been like resort people. And I'm not just saying this, like, and I think part of it's having a small child, but there are some really nice things about it. Like the fact that you could be somewhere comfortable and then not have to travel that far to see something pretty cool. Like. It's not something I'd exclusively do because the Philippines is huge and there's so much to get out and explore. Mm -hmm. But the fact that like this wow. is in the backyard of a hotel is also very, very cool. And Hayes is loving it. I mean, this is such a cool experience for him, let alone us. So, I mean, and Eddie, who's with him, is pretty amazing. So. 
It's true, we picked him up from the kids club and he started hysterically crying and he didn't want to leave. And so every time you do something like this, you're like, is my child going to like it more than playing with toy cars in a windowless room? And luckily for us, the answer this time is yes. He doesn't want to go back and he's asked to stay on this boat. probably make a montage of just Hayes holding hands with various staff members at Set at Leo. He really has taken to them and everybody is so helpful. It's very cute. But Eddie has been fantastic. So knowledgeable and awesome with Hayes. So this was a great morning activity and now we're gonna go chill by the pool. It's a big one. Mommy, His name ride. is Diego. Diego? Yeah. Mommy, mind ride on that Diego? <laughs> you Diego. <laughs> you want to ride on? No, no? mommy. Uh, mommy, mommy. Uh, mommy, you go on Diego. His name's not Jiggle, it's Diego. Diego. Oh, Jago. 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 Hi, Jago. Hi, Jago. Hi, hi, hi. out to the beach to hopefully go out in the kayak, but Eddie, who showed us the wetlands earlier, left a whole bunch of beach toys for Hayes uh, by our room. And so now he's way too excited to build sandcastles to go on a boat. All right, not sponsored by Flight, Flight Radar 24, but really love that app by the way. Um, the plane should be coming from that direction, it's coming from Manila and so hopefully we should see it kind of come over the mountains over there flying right over us into the airport which is like over there. What is so cool is there's like a control tower like on the beach. Like, that's pretty cool. Do you think it's cool? You want to see a plane? Oh, it's coming! Look, 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 look! Where? See the light? No! Look! Look there! Look! 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 Look!
last morning here. Today we head back to Manila. This is how close the airport is to this hotel. The transportation there is this like little electric vehicle thing. There's absolutely no way you can stress on a vacation like this. It's like, this is what getting to the airport looks like. That's, I mean, that's our quickest ever transfer to an airport. <laughs> and look at it. It doesn't look like you're at an airport. It looks like you're at another beautiful resort. Wait, this is actually crazy. I've never had a bellhop take luggage, like literally to the check-in counter. This is wild. I didn't know this was gonna happen. Sorry to geek out at the airport so much, but have, look at this airport, it's crazy. But since we're at the airport, that means this is the end of the vlog here in El Nido Palawan, and also the end of our island hopping in the Philippines in general, but we do have one more vlog coming from Manila. It's the street food tour that we tried to take weeks ago. We're finally going on it tomorrow, so if you haven't already, please subscribe, please give this video a like, leave us a comment if this is where you discovered us. We've got several more Philippines vlogs before this and one more on the way. So we really appreciate you watching and we'll see you in Manila. Also, don't forget to check out Seta Leo Resort here steps away from Leo Airport in El Nido Palawan or any number of the other resorts in that hotel group. They have private islands here in El Nido and I think resorts around the Philippines. Okay, for real, goodbye now. See you in Manila.